space to grow plants. Trust me. This is 17 Clever Gardening Tips for City Living by Alvin Malone. One, turn a pallet upright for shelved planting. If you're lucky enough to have some balcony space, make the most of it by going vertical. One, find a pallet. Two, collect your supplies. Two large bags of potting soil, 16 six packs of annual flowers, one six pack per opening on the face of the pallet, and two six packs per opening on the top of the completed pallet garden. A small roll of landscape fabric, a staple gun, staples, and sandpaper. Three, get your pallet into shape. Four, let the stapling begin. Decide which side of the pallet will be the bottom when the pallet garden is completed and leaning against the wall. Five, planting, and six, caring for your pallet. Two, lay your planters for maximum effect. If you only have a small corner of space, then stack terracotta planters for overflowing flowers. I highly recommend using soil moist to keep the plants hydrated. In the hot summer months, flowers planted in containers dry out rapidly. It can happen so quickly in July and August that container plants may need to be watered twice a day. Keep in mind those plants in terracotta pots dry out even faster than other containers because the clay wicks away a lot of the moisture. Soil moist is great because it almost doubles the time needed between watering. 3. Hang plants using a shoe organizer. Build upwards, not outwards, and repurpose a shoe organizer as a planter. Step 1. Prepare. Hanging pocket shoe organizer, pull-in attachments, curtain pole or pipe fittings, screw, strong metal saucepan or utensil hanging hooks, selection of plants or seeds, e.g. mixed salad leaf, herbs, sorrel, peas, mini tomatoes, compost of a good quality moisture holding type, 2 inch by 2 inch wood, and trough planter to catch drips. Step 2. Attach pole to shed or wall. Step 3. Attach hanging shoe store. Step 4. Test drainage. Step 5. Fill each pocket with compost. Step 6. Add plants or seeds. Step 7. Drip aid. Use a piece of wood to make sure the excess water drips into the trough below. And finally, step 8. Maintain a healthy hanging veg plot. More details at Instructables. 4. Use wine crates as a raised bed. Great for a small balcony. No balcony? Don't worry, if you have a wide windowsill, then you can use mini wine crates as a window box. 5. No outdoor space at all? Take to the ceiling. Ryan Taylor's Babylon Lights Planted Light Fixture is perfect for any room. Grow herbs or trailing blossoms. 6. Combine greenery with your existing furniture. Siesta Studio's Green Lamp is part lamp, part flower pot. 7. Think small with succulents. Small jars or glasses filled with soil and succulents can make pretty terrariums. 8. An IKEA morphed lantern can become a planter. It can then be hung wherever you like, outside or inside. Step 1. Find an open area. Lay your newspaper as you will get the floor dirty. Roll the plant pots on their sides so that it will loosen the soil and allow you to remove the plant easily and gently. You don't want to damage the roots. Step 2. Arrange all your plants neatly or the way you want it. Step 3. Tog up the sides with additional soil as the lantern is quite big. Finally, here's how it looks after you have finished the project. This is how it looks at night. And this is how it looks at day. 9. Hang living herbs over the sink for easy access. An IKEA bar and hook system means you can have living herbs instead of dried ones. Materials. Or shower curtain rod. Fintorp Cultury Caddy. Bijol S. Hook. Step 1. Purchase supplies, including small pots of plants. Step 2. Spray painted hooks and caddy holder to match the color of the curtain rod. And last, step 3. Assemble. More detail inside the info area. 10. Or you can hang them on a board in mason jars. Materials and instructions at camillestyles.com. 11. Or plant as normal and keep them by the sink. 12. Mason jars make pretty planters in general. This one has drainage in the bottom to make the plant more comfortable. The planter hangs 3 feet from the ceiling to the bottom of the mason jar. The quart mason jar is 7 inches long and 3.5 and inches wide. 13. A macrame hanger can fold a pot or a can, or craft a mason jar hanger like this. Main material needed, 18-inch reclaimed wood mason jar hanger from Urban Cycle, Tennessee. 14. Also, these metal planters can hang from the ceiling. The metal is cut from tin snips, polished, and then heated for color. The metal is hand hammered in around until I like the shape. Care is taken to make sure there are no burrs or sharp edges. The wires are made of aviator cable, 
rated to hold 220 pounds and are secured with aluminum crimped duplexes. Approximately 7 inches tall and 12 inches in diameter, the wires add 18 inches, and the length of the wire can be easily adjusted, or get this stainless steel 4-inch square planter eco-friendly outdoor decor for $24. This planter is not watertight, approximately 4 inches tall, 4 inches wide, and 4 inches deep. Due to the process of making each one separately, there will be slight variations in the color and size. 15. These double ceiling planters are awesome! The twin bracket is aluminum and painted in white. The bracket hanging on the belt, which is height adjustable. The terracotta pot is satin white painted and without a drainage hole. And it is fixed with a screw, which is included. Care. Adding a handful of small rocks to the bottom of your planter is an easy way to get that excess water somewhere to go to prevent your plants from drowning. You can also use it as pot covers. 16. For a more low maintenance option, go for air plants. Talansia takes their nutrients from air, not for soil. All you have to do is plant it in something, like a cork, for example, and mist it two to three times a week. Directions. One, hit up your local mom and pop gardening shop for some air plants. Two, take a paring knife and pierce the cork so that you're essentially carving a circle. Note to self, be careful of fingers. Three, scoop out the cork. Keep in mind the size of the plant and figuring out how deep and wide the opening should be. Four, make sure to hot glue a magnet to the back. And don't forget to mist once a week. And last, 17, try a Zen garden. Sand stones and a little rake mean you can tend your garden no matter how small your living space. For $15, you'll get one 10 inch by four inch black wooden box, 12 ounce natural Idaho sand, one deeply engraved four inch river rock, five creek pebbles, and one wooden rake. As an alternative, have this $40 mini Zen garden planner for your main room. The seller has sealed this planner so the wood wouldn't rot from water. You can also choose to leave it a natural wood color or you can stain it a rich dark brown. Dirt, rocks, and plants are not covered. A chance to explore your creativity. Done. As always, please like or share if you think the video deserves it or comment on it if you have something important to say. And last but not least, please press the subscribe button if you want to support this channel. Thanks for watching.